Uncle Mud here at the end of day two of the 2022 Permaculture Technology Jamboree at Hermes uh, Wheaton Labs. I'm here with Lisa Orr and Michael and Chris and we got Gray and we got Mark and we have a rocket kiln. We are at what temperature now? What was that in Fahrenheit again? 2112. 2112 in Fahrenheit. So we are firing pottery in this thing. And it's only taken two hours to get to the point where our pottery is done, which is about half what this old electric kiln would have taken when it was in its heyday and uh, no smoke very very little wood that it takes to fire this thing you want to pull that plug so we can see glowy things check it out that's our pottery in there glowing last year when we built one of these we produced what a handful of little tiny tiny things and this time we've actually got a full kiln going. So this is very exciting to get the temperatures we need. We have a double insulated riser up there. And I'll show you at uh, 2200 degrees, I can still touch the side of this. And this has been burning for over two hours. So, definitely a success here. Very exciting. We've got an insulated burn chamber. And we've got number four cone gone. That's our, uh, what temperature does that say? Um, cone 04 just went down. Cone 04 down, which went down, which is about 1945. About 1945. Um, the kiln atmosphere just got over 2200 Fahrenheit. All right, so we are definitely making the progress we need. And tomorrow we're going to test this kiln, replacing that box which will mean that we can remove the kiln when the pottery is done and put another block in there and keep our heat and our temperature pretty high and fire without having to cool down and refire, which saves a lot of time and a lot of fuel. Very exciting. We'll have more fun tomorrow. Lisa's only been planning this for years. So, very exciting. We designed this so that it's modular. Our burn chamber and our feed tube and our kiln and our riser all come apart so it's easier to move and so we can stick in something else like a forge or a, uh, a crucible for melting some aluminum, uh, all kinds of cool options. Let's see how that goes. We're going to burn more stuff tomorrow.